information about micro blood clots has gained more popularity lately due to its potential connection with long COVID. However, information about micro blood clots has been studied in past literature. Some of these described these micro blood clots as microembolisms when they occurred in the brain. And other research looking at patients who have just had a prior surgery or when patients have had different disease states have also found these really small blood clots. However, we'll focus today on long COVID information. Now, if you remember from one of our prior videos, blood clots typically occur at a site of injury in our blood vessels, and they occur as a way to protect that blood vessel and not to allow internal bleeding. So different platelets begin sticking together with these clotting factors in order to stop that site of injury and repair it. Now, if that site of injury is repaired, that blood clot should be metabolized by our body. However, if it isn't and it breaks off into our bloodstream, that's when it can cause some serious consequences to our heart or even our brain. And we've described some of these conditions in other short videos as well as physician Q&As. But if we look at these micro blood clots, they occur in our free flowing blood. So different platelets begin sticking together, but they're not quite as large as the typical blood clot. But that can be a problem as it could begin entering something known as capillaries, which are the smallest blood vessels that we have. And these are essential for transporting oxygen as well as nutrients to all different parts and all different cells within our bodies. So if those begin to get blocked by these micro blood clots, then it could impair the movement of that oxygen and those nutrients to the areas that we most need it. However, there's a lot of questions revolving around these micro blood clots. Some of them include, how do we treat them? Are we able to use something such as blood thinners to prevent these from happening? Maybe we can, but maybe those don't work. How about physiological impacts? What do these micro blood clots do to the overall well-being of one's body? If they're impairing the movement of blood through capillaries, that can have serious consequences on the way one is able to operate different organs or well as different limbs of one's body. And then lastly, what is the mechanism of action? So what's actually causing these blood platelets to begin sticking together? Is it different proteins that are becoming activated in the clotting cycle? If that's the case, is there ways that we can actually block those proteins from being activated to stop these micro clots from happening? So as more information about these micro blood clots becomes available, I'll be sure to keep you all informed. 